Hey guys, I'm Nick Perdue, bar manager of 23 Hoyt in Portland, Oregon, and today we're going to be aging a Manhattan using Time and Oak elements. As you know, aging spirits and cocktails can be a long and expensive process. But with Time and Oak Elements, you can cut your time down and drastically reduce cost to your cocktail maker. So let's jump right in. Today we're going to be aging a Portland-style Manhattan, which uses high-proof bourbon, something like a Booker's, maybe a Wild Turkey 101, a really lovely floral sweet vermouth, something like Carpano Antica, Peychaud's bitters for color and flavor, and then just a touch of cherry hearing for that extra kick that most Manhattan lovers enjoy. So jumping right in here, we're going to use our funnel so we don't get spirit or vermouth anywhere. We've got our high proof bourbon. I'm using Booker's just because the signature element really mellows out and finishes these cocktails. So I'm going to add just about 14 ounces of our Booker's bourbon here. That's going to be just over a third. We're going to go on to our really nice, robust and floral Carpano Antica, one of the oldest uh, imported vermouths that there are in the States. Really lovely stuff, adds just that really lovely floral element that Manhattan lovers enjoy. We're gonna add just about 10 ounces, which is just under the top of the bottle right there. This is a 750 milliliter, so uh, you are going to be making per batch. We're gonna add our Peychaud's bitters, adds a really nice red coloring, and also that appropriate amount of floral bitters that Manhattan is known for. We're gonna add just about 15 to 20 shakes of this. We don't want it to come out too bitter. The oak adds a really nice element there for that. And then our final and measured, of course you can use a jigger the entire way if you'd like. We've gotten used to uh, our process here. We're gonna add just about an ounce and a half of this really nice cherry hearing, just so that that Manhattan is, uh, we close the deal on that Manhattan. People love that extra little bada bing cherry or that Bordeaux cherry. We're gonna just go ahead and add it to the cocktail. Last step, we add the element. We're gonna go ahead and close this. Over the next three to five days, make sure to taste test your cocktail or spirit regularly. You'll notice that the color and the robustness changes with each day. So you're gonna start by adding just about four ounces into your mixing crystal. It's really important to uh, obviously stir the Manhattan, not shake it, as is tradition. We're gonna add ice nice and softly. We don't want to uh, bruise that vermouth. We're gonna take our spoon and gently stir it for just about 15 solid seconds. We're gonna get that uh, little bit of ice melt in there, but nothing too intense. Give it a nice chill but maintain the spirit forward nature of this cocktail. Got our filter here. We're gonna add right to that lovely coupe, a little bit of a classic glassware piece there. And then add three Bordeaux cherries, give them a nice roll so they're shining. From all of us here at Time and & Oak in Portland, Oregon, cheers.